Welcome to the second day of the presidential elections. Today we will see the four steps through genetic engineering is accomplished. Mr. Obama, your turn for the first step. Thank you Thomas, the first step is to locate and isolate the specific gene by gene splicing techniques, or cut them into small fragments which are easy to work with. It's okay, I will continue. Then each time that the Enries detects his palindrome it will cut the DNA. In one of these will be the gene of the insulin we want to clone. The next step is to insert the genes into a cloning vector which is a vehicle for transferring genetic material into a cell. We collect similar plasmids and we add the same Enries. We put the plasmid in contact with the genome piece and a DNA circle is formed and then one of them is the insulin gene. We put the bacteria on petri dishes to multiply the gene. Well I will continue. The next phase is to localizing the descendants of the host cell that contains the gene of interest. And I think that finally we collect this bacteria and grow them in a culture. In 24 hours we will have millions of bacteria that produces human insulin. Vote for Stuart Alexander. Well it has been a very interesting culture demonstration of our future presidents. Have you got some last words for the electors before the most important Americans day? Yes we can. Clone genes. Vote for Obama. Vote for the human being. Like the 43rd president of the US said, read my lips, no more taxes. Vote for John Biden.